what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today i'm shooting from my home so i don't know how the audio quality is i do not have a microphone so and there's a lot of noise outside from the cars and the buses and the trains and the trucks because my home is on the highway so i hope there's not much disturbance when i'm making this video okay so today we are going to discuss on something very important how to cultivate or how to go close to God or how to cultivate dependence on God. Many people have been asking me that how do we see God everywhere? Yes, so because the scriptures say that we should try to see God's hand in everything. So how do we do that? Well, there are many uh, scriptural uh, injunctions for that. There are the nine processes of spiritual life about which we will talk some other day. But today I will talk of something which anybody can do irrespective of our situation either we are a hindu we are a muslim or a christian or a zoroastrian we are a boy we are a girl we are anybody we are single or we are married or we are in a relationship or we are divorced okay whoever we are we can do it whichever part of the world we are we can do it all right so this uh, today's video will be on some practical tips which uh, i have learned from my gurus and from so many personalities whom I have associated in the last 10 years. So I will try my best to summarize them and share it with all of you. I hope you will like it. Okay. And if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation, then please approach me through my website below. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up. And if you want me to make any other video, then also let me know in the comments. Okay. And yes, before I begin, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Yes, yes, yes okay so how to see god's hand in everything yes how to go close to god how to how to understand that there's somebody like him so one of the first thing is try to accept things as they come to you should i repeat try to accept things the way they come to you what do i mean by this i simply mean that whatever comes of its own accord let it come and try to accept it let's talk with some examples here suppose you have booked a bus ticket okay from suppose delhi to bangalore suppose and then you go and you give the ticket to the conductor and he says okay you are in bus uh, you you are in this bus your seat number is 200 or 200 is very long for a bus okay maybe 20 your seat number is 20 now suppose you go and see that the number 20 is a middle seat okay then what do you do and suppose you see that oh the other two people have not come the aisle seat and the window seat they have not yet arrived so what do you do yes People will generally go and ask the conductor, oh, please give me the aisle seat or give me the window seat. Am I right? <laughs> That's That tendency is there, right? I've seen people uh, when they go to take the boarding pass of the airport, uh, of a flight in the airport, they'll be fighting with the stewardess for the window seat. Yes. So, let us accept things as they are. If the conductor see the conductor has not given us the middle seat yes the conductor is nobody actually actually it is God who has given us the middle seat so then what, what happens when you go and sit there you will realize that oh I have accepted whatever God has given me yes I have accepted it he has given me something and I have accepted it if we cannot accept the small things how will we accept the big things? Should I repeat? If we cannot accept the small things which God has given us, how will we accept the big things? <laughs> okay. So, if we get a middle seat, it may be a bit uncomfortable. Yes. But let us cultivate this habit of accepting things as they come to us. Alright. Now, this does not mean that if the people around you, on the right and on the left, if they are abusing you okay or if they are torturing you or they are tormenting you you keep sitting there and you keep saying oh uh, this, is, uh, this is God God has given me this is my karma no it doesn't mean that it simply means that whatever is possible for us at our level 
that we can accept we should accept that okay and then we should not artificially try to impose what we think is good or bad what is right and wrong yes by that what happens is we are always in a quest for uh, we are always in a quest for materialistic pleasure yes basically why people don't like to sit in a seat which is in the middle because that's a bit uncomfortable right yes because there are two people they are smashing you from both sides but if all the time you are trying to sit in a window seat or in an aisle seat yes then what happens from the day we book the ticket we will be in tension oh my goodness will i get the window seat will i get this seat will i get the front seat will i get the back seat then what happens you lose your mental peace your mind is disturbed always right i have seen people when they go to some journey somewhere even to holy places i have seen yes they will be fighting over seats in buses in trains yes that is not good the purpose of going uh, to the holy places is not achieved if you are fighting for the seat anyways that's a separate topic about holy places but what i am saying here is let's take another example if we go to a restaurant suppose <coughs> we go to a restaurant and suppose we like a dish very much yes suppose some dish <laughs> and we are very much interested in having only that dish because perhaps that's the only reason why we went to that restaurant but suppose one fine day you go to that restaurant expecting to eat that same dish which you liked and suppose that day the person tells you the waiter tells you oh sir we are extremely sorry we don't have this dish today does it happen sometimes it has happened with me many times so recently i had gone to a south indian restaurant in guwahati 3 4 days back and then i wanted to have a dessert and i said please give me this dessert and this person said oh sorry sir we have not made this dessert today then i was like man i came to eat this dessert kesari bath that i came to eat but that was not there so i was like okay i have taken sambar and idli vada and dosa but i could not take this dessert so i was a bit mentally dissatisfied <laughs> but then i thought it is not the owner of the restaurant who has not made this dessert yes it is god who has not made it <laughs> because ultimately a uh, lord krishna says in the gita that i am the doer yes so if krishna decides not to make the dessert then how can this manager of the hotel decide that we will make we will make that dessert yes so when we understand that actually god is the one who is orchestrating everything yes so then we will uh, realize that okay whatever he has given let us accept it see we are the perfect example of hanuman ji from the ramayan i will go to mahabharat also but let's talk of hanuman ji first from the ramayan that he never demanded anything yes demand 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 <laughs> He never demanded anything from Lord Ram. He never said to Lord Ram, "Oh Lord Ram, I want to sit there. I want this. I want that." Have you ever heard or seen or read about Hanuman Ji doing like this? No, he never did this because he was always conscious of the fact that he was a servant of God. Yes, and the quality of a servant is he or she will only accept what the master gives. Should I repeat the quality of a servant? The most important quality of a servant is. he or she will only accept what god gives yes they will not demand suppose there is a master and there is a servant all right so suppose the master says okay today you will eat rice dal today you will eat sabji chapati ideally the servant should not say why today rice dal why not sabji chapati tomorrow <laughs> okay <laughs> ideally he is not supposed to do that because then you are taking the role of a master yes so when we try to control things yes when we try to uh, become the doers and the controllers and try to imitate god yes by fighting for window seat or from for or by fighting for our dishes now what what i could have done in the restaurant i could have taken the whole restaurant for a ride i could have said i came to eat this dish i will eat this dish i have seen people doing that <laughs> yes but then what would have happened maybe they would have made it but is that proper that's the question right similarly sometimes i have seen when i fly in uh, flights in aeroplanes i have seen sometimes 
they do not have uh, non-vegetarian dishes that gets finished suppose you are sitting in the middle and they start serving you from the beginning or from the end so when they reach the middle <coughs> Uh, the non-veg dish finishes yes and then they are only left with vegetarian dishes so i have seen people the moment they hear that non-veg is over they'll start fighting oh why non-veg is over i want non-veg i will not eat veg man eat it man one day <laughs> you are not going to die if the non-vegetarian food is over one day yes nothing is going to uh, change if you eat vegetarian food for one day in fact it's good but anyways the point is not uh, what is good is a vegetarian diet better than non-vegetarian diet that's not the point here but the point is sometimes it may happen that everybody gets what they want and we only don't get what we want yes so that is not because uh, everybody was better than us or we are bad but it's simply because of our own karma I have seen sometimes uh, I go to eat somewhere and Everybody who was before me in the line gets that and the moment I give the plate that thing is over <laughs> I've seen when I go to wedding sometimes it happens. Yes recently also when I went it happened They were making gajar halwa and I went and I was about to take it and then that person said oh sir This shift is over. You have to wait till the next shift comes and then my father was like we are getting late We need to go <laughs> And then I said to myself if God doesn't want that I take this halwa, I anyways cannot take. So, I said, go, uh, do, uh, then I thought, leave this halwa. We will eat, eat it some other day, some other time, somewhere else. As they say in Hindi, dhane dhane pe likha hai, khane wale ka naam. So, you cannot eat something unless you are destined to eat that. Or, let me put it the other way around. You cannot eat anything unless God wants you to eat. Yes? So, sometimes it may happen that you are, you are asking for chicken, but the chicken is finished. Yes, sometimes it may happen that you are wanting paneer, but the paneer is finished. So then what do you do? You might have to eat soya bean, you might have to eat some other dish. Yes, it may not be there. So instead of fighting, yes, now if, if that was already uh, destined earlier, suppose you had called up a restaurant and you said that, oh, we want a reservation in your hotel today. My family is coming. All right. And then if they go and say, when you go there and then they say that oh sorry sir we could not keep your reservation then you may ask oh sir we told you why you didn't keep but even then we have to understand that ultimately till the time god doesn't want or god sanctions our reservation it cannot happen yes it can happen that they write it down but somebody comes and cuts it yes and then you may be wondering oh i did the reservation but why it still didn't happen no that was not because that waiter did the mistake it was simply because god did not want you to eat food there maybe due to some other reason due to some reason or the other yes maybe it's not there in your karma or whatever it is yes so similarly i have seen when i uh, got a job in 2013 and i passed my bachelor's in 2014 you know how it happens in these it companies they will allot you places so when i uh, got a job in this company Cape Gemini <clears throat> so then what happened was I mean it was known as I get earlier later on it became Cape Gemini so then what happened was uh, yeah so this company's name was I get earlier and then Cape Gemini had purchased it so when I was posted in Bangalore then many of those people who also got placed with me they were also posted in different cities like Bangalore Mumbai some were placed in Hyderabad so then what happened there was one girl in my class so everybody accepted again accept things as they are so everybody uh, accepted yes what whichever city was given also you had the option if you don't uh, like the city you can change it but that was a very tedious process to do so everybody got their respective cities and i got bangalore and we accepted but there was one girl who said oh i don't like bangalore i will go to hyderabad Okay, I don't like Bangalore. I hate people from Bangalore. I can't tolerate Bangalore. I will go to Hyderabad. Yes. So there you see, she could not accept something which was given to her. Then what happened? She went to Hyderabad. Then she said, one of my friend was also there in Hyderabad. He was posted there. And then what happened? She went there. And after she went there, they had to choose domain. All right. So 
then what happened there was this domain you have to choose java.net and there was another language okay one of the three uh, you were allotted you could not choose it so then what happened this girl knew a bit of java from before yes but she didn't know dot net so then she was allotted dot net and then she started fighting there also oh i don't need dot net i need java because i don't know dot and i need java but madam that's a training if you don't know you will learn it right but you are not comfortable in uh, adapting to things as they come to you yes so then she had a fight with the manager and then the manager said okay madam we will give you java you learn java although you know it still yes so she did not want to go out of her comfort zone yes because it's a bit painful to go to a new city and to settle where you don't know anybody now in hyderabad there are so many people she knows that is why she wants to go to hyderabad yes and in java she already knows how to do everything so she doesn't want to go away from the comfort zone yes she's reluctant to accept things as they come and then what happens then she uh, got java and then later on they allot some pgs yes where you stay and you eat food and you sleep in the night and you come to the company so then the company allotted some pgs she had problem there also she said oh i don't like this pg, PG change my pg i will stay with that person and then whole the time it went for her fighting like this and even now she is fighting with the manager for some reason or the other so this is what happens you see when you cannot accept things as they come to you yes now again i am not saying that it is wrong to go to hyderabad instead of going to bangalore i am not saying it is wrong to learn java instead of dot net i am not saying anything like that but do you understand the principle here yes i hope you have understood so when we understand see just visualize the example of hanuman when we whenever we want to understand how to become a servant of god yes he is the perfect example and in fact uh, i have seen in holy places i have gone to places so many places like shirangam tirupati so many places i have seen sadhus there <coughs> will <coughs> not even eat they will not even tell anybody that i am hungry they will only eat if somebody gives them yes now that's a very high stage but at least we may not be able to do that but at the least we can ensure that when we go to some place uh, we do not fight oh why is this item there why is this item not there so adaptability is very important cultivating the dependence on god okay god has given me this maybe i deserve this that's fine that's perfectly good as in the shrimad bhagavatam lord brahma says yes nobody other than lord brahma he is the creator of this 14 planetary systems and this is the shloka which i have put in my website in the first page yes what is that shloka the shloka is one of the most famous shlokas of the shrimad bhagavatam tate nukampam susumikshamano bhunjan evatmakritam vipakam ritvakvapu bhir vidadham namaste jive tayo mukti pade sadaya bhag lord brahma says to lord vishnu here in his choicest of his prayers that oh lord vishnu whoever 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 accepts whatever happens in his or her life as a part of his or her own karma and says thank you to you that you gave him this karma that person is eligible for liberation because then what happens if you are not having this tendency the same problem will come in your spiritual life i have seen people i give them mantras then they call me and say oh i don't like this mantra can you change this mantra So this is a mantra. This is not a research paper published in some scientific conference that you will do whatever you want. <laughs> okay, even in scientific conferences you can't do anything. Once you have done some something, that's it. It's published. It's the citation is done. That's it. You can't change it. How can you expect that a mantra of the scriptures will be changed just for you? It doesn't work like that. Okay, whatever mantra is given, that you have to change. You like it or you don't. Yes. it's like going to a doctor and saying oh i don't like this tablet give me some other tablet it doesn't work like that yes so if you have this problem of not being adaptable and not being able to accept things as they come to you you will have this problem everywhere you go to find now i have seen uh, people in india for arranged marriages they will see 500 proposals and they will reject everything somewhere they will say oh the girl is dark somewhere they will say oh the girl is bit fat somewhere they say oh the girl is not educated somewhere they will say oh the girl is not 
uh, able to speak properly yes because see everybody will have, have some flaws or the other yes the other day I was um, talking with a lady and she was a uh, bit distressed because she was not able to find somebody uh, find a husband for her girl yes so then I asked her that what's the problem then she said oh my daughter is an exceptional person so I also need an exceptional uh, boy for her I said okay what's so exceptional about your daughter oh yeah she has been extraordinarily brilliant from her childhood no? yes you see <laughs> Uh, and now she is doing uh, her masters in a foreign university then I said but there are so many people who do uh, masters in foreign these days what's so exceptional about exceptional means if you claim that you are exceptional that means you have done something which nobody has ever 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 done yes then only you can claim that you are exceptional then she said oh but she is doing in nanotechnology but then I said there are so many who are doing in nanotechnology oh but she is doing in photonics and I said I know so many who are doing in photonics yes so when she said that our daughter is exceptional, I thought maybe she has got some big medal or some something she has done which nobody has ever done. If you are claiming that your daughter is so exceptional, yes. And because of that what happens? She is not able to find anybody, yes. Because she always says, oh, this is lacking in this boy, this is lacking in that boy. And then what happens? Your daughter will remain single for the rest of eternity, yes. Now, maybe that's her destiny. I'm not commenting on that. Or maybe it's okay if she says stays single. But that's not the point here. The point is, if you cannot accept with humility whatever comes of its own accord, then you will perhaps have difficulty in making spiritual progress also. Because one day you will question God. Oh, I'm doing this spiritual practice from so many days, from so many months, from so many years. But why are you not giving me anything back? Why am I not seeing the results? That is what you will tell me. God. <laughs> And then what happens? You stop these spiritual practices. And then, as Lord Krishna says in the Gita, Tato Yanti Adhamam Gatim, you fall down again to the lowest pits of materialistic existence. And then you are wondering, what the hell did I just do? <laughs> Alright, so the principle is very simple that try to cultivate dependence on God. Try to understand how to be a servant, maintain humility, accept whatever comes of its own accord. Whatever you can accept, you accept that. If something is beyond your control or it's too difficult, then maybe you don't accept it. But suppose you applied for an application and you got it and they posted you to some place. Try to accept it. Don't try to fight around. Oh, I want to go here. My mama is there in Bangalore. My masi is there here. My friend is there here. My... <laughs> let's stop that all right so by that what will happen we will we will become very happy inside we will be like whatever god gives if god wants me to eat rice dal today i will eat if god wants me to fast today i will fast if god wants that i fast for the next 10 days i will fast if god wants that all the remaining 10 days i am eating 10 course meal 50 course buffet that is also fine there is no problem so when we try to accept things as they come to us yes then we will see that God is there everywhere and then you will always understand what I say. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will definitely find him. Or else if you are just fighting all the time. Oh, I want this, I want that. Ye chahiye, wo chahiye. Then you will be the most miserable person alive in this planet Earth. I have seen so many examples. And you will also see examples. Yes, those people who lack this trait. Yes, so do not try to be the master, try to be the servant. So that is what I wanted to say in this video. How to be a servant of God, how to cultivate dependence. Alright, that is it from my side. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. And if you want me to make any other video, then please let me know in the comments. Alright, and if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And ultimately, if you want a consultation, then please approach me through my website. Okay. Until next time with another video, wish you good luck. Bye-bye. See you. Enjoy the weekend. Ta-ta.